suicide, death, and violence on campus that the campus doesn't seem to want to be dealing with. On February 21st, 2014, Antonio Guzman Lopez was killed right up the street from here, right where that tree is. He was shot twice in the back. The students here have paid for body cameras on these police officers that they are having to pay their tuition fees for cameras that aren't being utilized properly to, to protect the students here or our community. It's going on 18 months that my children have been left without a father and the videos that the UPD have on the body cameras and dash cams have failed to be released to prove what happened that day. Justice for Josiah was organized to bring to the community awareness and education and to also to bring safety back to our communities. To remove all the guns on campuses because there's no need for an officer to be fully armed on campus with these students at any time. The city police can handle that. I am devastated by the fact that I lost somebody, but there's many parents who sent their students to this university thinking their child was safe just to get them received back in the box. And if you're willing to have your child come here, then educate them and let them know how to protect themselves and each other on this campus. We have a student survey that we are taking online. People can remain anonymous, but there are many incidents that have come to my attention since Justice for Josiah was organized, telling me and informing us of the brutality and the excessive force by the UPD, not only on students, but community members that live in the area. I ask all the community here to open your eyes to speak up, to stand up, protect our children. Our youth deserve us as parents to protect them, to educate them, to empower them, to let them know the safety and the danger that they have. These are my children, four and ten. They will grow up for the rest of their lives without a father because of the UPD. There is no reason in the world for my kid's father to have been shot in the back. The trauma they have caused my children is not something I want another family to ever go through again. I will do everything in my power to prevent and protect and rebuild trust in my community and the safety that our children and youth deserve. If I'm one boy, I'll be the one boy that does it. But I'm asking the community and the students to stand with me against all violence, by police, by guns, by abuse of any type. It's not fair. Our children do not deserve to be subjected to abuse of any kind. If you want more information on how you can help and be supportive and make a change in your community, you can contact the Justice for Josiah on our Facebook page or go to our webpage at justiceforjosiah.org. We are asking our community once again, your silence is consent. And when death comes knocking on your door, don't say you won't warn. This is a community service emergency safety announcement because it touched my family, it could touch yours too. Nobody is immune from the violence when people are racially profiled or they hate. And I am determined and I am going to try my best to bring back something positive out of this tragedy that has happened to my family. Not only for my children, but for the students here on San Jose State campus, for the students in every school around the country, that guns are being permitted by officers to be on their campuses. No guns on campus. There's no need for it. Our children need to be educated without intimidation or fear of being harassed or abused by police carrying guns on campus. Thank you, and have a good day. Remember, justiceforjosiah.org or Justice for Josiah Facebook.